Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve National Science Olympiad that is SOF and SO question paper of 2021. That is for class 1. If you want to go ahead and watch other Olympiad question paper and solve with us, please go to our channel and watch all the videos. If you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe. Now let's solve this NSO question paper together. First section is logical reasoning. Question 1. Find the missing number in the given number pattern. So let's first find the pattern. First number is 12 and the next one is 15. So there is a jump of 3. That is from 12 we will go to 13, 14 and then we will reach 15. So 12 plus 3 equal to 15. Now let's see what is the pattern for the next one. 15 is there, jump to 16, 17 and then reach 18. Jump to 19, 20 and then where we will reach? To 21. So on the question mark, the number 21 should be there. But still let's complete the pattern so that we are confirmed on this one. 21 is there, let's jump 3. 22, 23 and we reach 24. 24 is there. 25, 26 and then we reach 27. So the right answer over here would be option D, 21. Question 2. Which of the following amount is enough to buy the given toy guitar? Let's see the price of toy guitar. It is rupees 77. So we need to have either 77 rupees or more than 77 rupees then only we will be able to buy this toy guitar let's see the option option a is 50 no it is less than 77 we cannot buy the toy guitar the next one is 20 again we cannot buy it the c option is rupees 100 and it is greater than 77 yes with this we can buy toy guitar and option d is Rupees 10. We cannot buy toy guitar. So the right answer over here is option C. Rupees 100. Question 3. Select the odd one out. A. Dog. B. Bird. C. Cat. And D. Monkey. So here the odd one out is option B. Bird. Because only option B can fly and all others cannot fly. Question 4. Kite dash is fourth from the right end in the arrangement given below. So here we have to find a kite which is fourth in the position from the right end. Here left end is already given. So the opposite end would be the right end. And here it is. Now let's see which is the fourth one from here. V is first one, L is second one, S is third one and M is fourth one. We got our answer. Option A, M is the right answer because kite M is fourth from the right end. Question 5. There are dash circles in the given figure. So we have to count number of circles in the given figure. Now let's count. This is circle 1, circle 2, circle 3, 4, 5, circle 6 and 7 and circles 8 and 9. So in total there are 9 circles in the given figure. Option D is the right answer. Let's move to the next section that is science. Question 6. Which of the following is the young one of the animal? shown in the given picture and this picture is of horse. So let's see all the options. Option A is infant. An infant is the young one of a monkey. B is calf. Calf is the young one of a cow. C is joy and it is the young one of a kangaroo. And D is foal and this is the right answer because foal is the young one of horse. Question 7. If Pyle's mother has two sisters and one brother, 
then how many children does pious maternal grandfather has now who is pious maternal grandfather he is pious mother's father so now we have to find how many siblings pious mother has two sisters and one brother that is in total four and if we include pious mother also then in total there would be four children so pious maternal grandfather has four children question 8 select the option which on unscrambling gives the name of an object that should be worn while doing the activity shown in the given picture so let's first unscramble this option a seat belt b will give you helmet c will give you gloves and d will give you a scarf now what one should wear while riding a bicycle the right answer is option b helmet question 9 select the correct option to complete the given analogy each one seeded fruit and dash is few seeded fruit so let's see the option and find which one of these is few seeded fruit is it papaya papaya or pomegranate papaya and pomegranate are many seeded fruits and here orange is a few seeded fruit and mango is a one seeded fruit so we got our answer option d orange because orange is few seeded fruit question 10 refer to the given diagram and select the option that correctly identifies x now let's first understand what is the property of x so we have two circles one is of non living thing and the other one is of man made thing and x is overlapping so it has properties of both that means x is a non living thing that too man made so let's find out out of a b c d which one is man made non living thing option a eraser is it man made yes is it non living thing yes so we already got our answer option a but let's see other options also butterfly first of all it is not at all non living thing so this is wrong next one is tree again it is not non living thing and the last one is water it is non living thing but it is natural it is not man made so option a is the right answer question 11 which of the following statements is not correct about storm option a it is a slow and gentle moving wind we already got our answer because storm is not slow and gentle moving wind this is a incorrect statement let's see all other options whether they all are correct or not it is a fast moving wind that mostly comes with rain and lightning that's right it can cause damage to life that's right it can cause damage to property that is also right So the incorrect answer is option A and for us it's the correct option. Question 12. It's a riddle. I am the brightest object in the sky during daytime. I give heat and light. I make life possible on earth. What that could be? But obvious it is option B, sun. Question 13 select the option that can be placed in the same group as animal x and animal x is zebra. Uh so first let's try on their eating habits. Let's see option A. Option A is crow and a crow eats both plants and animals whereas zebra eats only plant. B is giraffe. Now this can be placed in the same group because giraffe also is a plant eating animal option c and d that is snake and lion they both are flesh eating animals and they cannot be placed in the same group as zebra so the right answer is option b giraffe because zebra and giraffe both are plant eating animals question 14 which of the following is an incorrect match now here animal is there and their group's name is there 
A is beer slot. This is correct because a group of beer is called slot. B is goat tribe. This is also correct because a group of goat is called tribe. C is frog swarm. Now this is incorrect because a group of frogs is called an army, whereas swarm is a group of honey bees. So this is incorrect match. Option D is giraffe tower. This is also a correct match. So option C is the right answer. Question 15. Select the option in which odd one is encircled incorrectly. Now let us see each options. Option E, carrot and radish are edible roots. Okay, but lady's finger is an edible fruit or vegetable. You can call. So here they have encircled the right odd when out. So this is correct. Option B, they have encircled mango. Let's see the logic. So tomato and mango are edible fruits, but beetroot is an edible root. Now here they have encircled. Wrongly, because they should encircle peach root, which is odd man out. So we already got our answer. Option B is the right answer. But let's see the other option as well. Let's see option C. Here, potato and garlic are edible stems, but lychee is an edible fruit. So they have encircled correctly. Cauliflower and broccoli are edible flowers, but cabbage is an edible leaf. Here also they have encircled correctly. So option B is the right answer for us. Question 16. Unscramble the given letters to obtain the name of a vegetable. Let's see what do we get out of these letters. It's spinach. Now select the correct statement regarding it. A. It's edible part to pay as food for the plant. We already got our correct answer. Because spinach is a leafy vegetable, and in a plant, leaf prepares food. So this is the right answer. But let's see others also. Its edible part grows into a fruit. No, that's flower. Its edible part absorbs mineral from the soil. No, that's root. Its edible part absorbs water from the soil. Again, that's the job of a root. So option A is the right answer for spinach. Question 17. A and dash. Fits and repairs taps and pipes. Now, who fixes and repairs taps and pipes? It's option C, plumber. Question 18. In which of the following rooms of a house will you find the objects shown in the given box? Now, what are these objects? These are the utensils, and we use these utensils in the kitchen to cook food. So, option D is the right answer. Question 19 Which of the following tools is used by a farmer Hmm let's see option A is a hoe Is it used by a farmer That's right we already got our answer Option A is a hoe that is used by a farmer Let's see other options as well Option B and C are blackboards and duster and chalk which are used by a teacher and option d is an injection which is used by a doctor so option a that is ho that is used by a farmer question 20 select the incorrect statement regarding the safety rules that we should follow while riding a car option a we should always wear seat belt it's correct B we should never take out our hands or head out of the window that is also correct C we should never disturb the driver absolutely correct option D we should stand on the seat no not at all because by doing so we may get hurt so option D is incorrect question 21 which of the following road signs shows school ahead let's see all the option option A So option A is an airport ahead sign. Option B option B shows school ahead. We already got our right answer, but let's see option C and D also. Option C is hospital ahead and option D is guarded rail crossing sign. Our right answer is option B. Question 22. Which of the following activities does not require air? 
burning of gas stove it does require air drying of clothes requires air washing of clothes no that requires water d flying of kite it requires air so the right answer which does not require air is option c washing of clothes question 26 which of the following shows water getting dirty option a option a shows industrial waste being discharged into the water through pipes and this is definitely going to make the water dirty so we already got our correct option which is option a let's see the other options also b is running tap water it's not making water dirty though it's a wastage c is cooking food it's not making the water dirty and d is fountain which is also not making the water dirty option a is making the water dirty and it is the right option question 24 the given picture shows which type of moon is it gibbous crescent full moon or new moon and the right answer is option b crescent moon question 25 study the given word chop table which of the following sets of boxes will give the name of an animal that lives in a hole so here some numbers are given and accordingly some alphabets are given what we have to do we have to join them and it will give you a name of an animal now we have to find out the option which gives name of an animal that lives in a hole let's see all the option option a is box 4 and 7 box 4 is l i and 7 is o n so we get lion and lion lives in a den option b is 5 and 11 so 5 is horse and 11 is s e s it gives horse horse lives in a stable c is 3 and 10 that gives us snake snake lives in a hole so we already got our answer answer is option c that is snake that lives in a hole let's see option d also 2 8 12 gives us spider spider lives in a web option c snake is the right answer because that lives in a hole question 26 which of the following statements is not correct about the given picture x now here we have cactus plant Option A it is a living thing but it cannot move from one place to another. Hmm. Next this is a correct statement. It is a living thing and can breathe. This is also a correct statement. It is a non living thing that cannot prepare its own food. Now this is wrong because all the plants are living things. So we already got the incorrect statement. Option C is the right answer. Question twenty seven. Which of the following statements is are correct? Now we have to find the right statement. Our first one is a dancing doll is a living thing as it can move its body part. That's wrong because dancing doll is a non living thing that to man made. Two, grape vine is a non living thing as it cannot move or make sound. This is also wrong because plants are living thing and grape vine is a living thing. Third, fish is a living thing as it can be. This is absolutely correct. We got one correct statement that is three. Fourth, all man-made things are made from things that were once alive. No, that is incorrect. All man-made things are not made from things that were once alive. Some are made from the things that were never alive so the only right answer which we got is 3 and the correct option is option b three only question 28 which of the following is not obtained from plants a eraser that is obtained from plant because it is made up of rubber which is provided from rubber plant B chair this is also obtained from plant chair is made up of wood which comes from plant C perfume again perfume is made 
from flowers and flower comes from plant d butter now butter is not obtained from plant it is animal based food option d is the right answer question 29 which of the following animals gives birth to young ones let's see now here option a is penguin penguin lays eggs option b is bat bat is a mammal which gives birth to young ones so we already got our right answer let's see other two also frog and butterfly they are egg laying animals so out of these four only bat is the one which gives birth to young ones the right answer is option b question 30 Complete the following sentences by choosing the correct sequence of words. We go to a dash to report a theft in our house. Where do we go if some theft has happened in our house? We go to police station. So one is police station. Six go to a dash for offering their prayers. So where do six go? What is their religious place? It is gurudwara. so one is police station and the other one is gurudwara let's see which option matches it and the right option is option d let's move to our last section that is achiever section and this section holds double marks for each question question 31 names of how many man made things are there in the given word grid so we have to find how many man made things are hidden in this grid let's go from left to right first i got one that is cup it is man made thing i got one more that is coin this is also man made thing and in the last row i can see water but that is natural that is not man made so i'll not count that now let's go from top to bottom and i got only one that is ring so in total we got three things that are man made and were hidden in this word grid option a three is the right answer question 32 refer to the given flow chart and select the option that correctly identifies x y and z now let's understand the flow chart on the top it is plant part so now we know that it is a plant part is it a fine yes if it is a plant part does it gives rise to fruit if yes then that is x that means it is a plant part that gives rise to fruit and what is that it is flower so flower is x over here now let's see let's go ahead in the flow chart if it does not give rise to fruit it absorbs water and mineral from soil if yes then that is y and what absorbs mineral and water from soil it is root so y is root so we got x and y both that is flower and root let's see the option whether a b c and d we have x and y as flower and root we have x and y as flower and root in option c let's see the z one in option c z is leaf and which is absolutely correct because z in the flow chart is the one which does not give rise to fruit and does not absorb water and mineral from soil and leaf is the right answer correct option here is c x is flower y is root and z is leaf question 33 in the given table few animals are classified into two groups p and q on a certain basis select the option that correctly identifies p and q now let's see p whale fish octopus and dolphin it looks like to me that group p is a group of water animals group q monkey giraffe bear and buffalo and group q is group of land animals so p is water animal q is land animal let's see which option matches this p and q the right option over here is option d p signifies water animals q signifies land animals 
Question 34. Refer to the given family tree of Tanvi's family and select the correct statement regarding it. Now here square means man and circle means woman. And we can see that there are three layers of family tree. That means there are three generations. Grandparents, parents and uh, children. So I have mentioned GF and GM as in grandfather and grandmother. F and M as in father and mother. Now let's see all the options. Tanvi is Savita's daughter. Is it? Let's locate Tanvi. Tanvi is located under Ravi and Shreya. So Tanvi is not Savita's daughter. Rather Tanvi is Shreya's and Ravi's daughter. This is incorrect statement. B is Tia is Mayam's sibling. Let's locate Tia. Tia is under Sumit and Mahi. And Tia's sibling is Kush, not Mayak. So option B is also incorrect. Let's see option C. Sonu is Kanchan's nephew. So if somebody is somebody's nephew, that means Sonu should be Kanchan's sister or brother's son. Now whose uh, son is Sonu? Sonu is Tani and Mayang's son. And Kanchan is Tani's sister. So ideally, Kanchan should be Sonu's aunt and Sonu should be Kanchan's nephew. So we found our right answer, that is option C. Let's see the D also. Om and Savita have four grandsons. Uh, Sonu, Tanvi, Tia and Kush. That is incorrect because Om and Savita have, have two grandsons and two granddaughters. So the right answer over here was only Sonu is Kanchan's nephew. Question 35. The given picture shows a list of safety rules that Kiran's mother prepared for her to follow at home and fixed it on the fridge door. While opening the door of the fridge, Kiran's father accidentally touched the list with wet hands and few words got erased from it. Select the correct sequence of words that got erased from the list. Now let's see the list and then find the answer. So here the first statement was do not touch a dash you may get cut. Okay fine. So option A is scissor. Yes with scissor we can get cut. B is blade. Option In option B it is blade. With blade also we may cut. Knife also and broken glass also. So A, B, C, D, all four are correct in terms of first statement. Let's see the second statement. Do not touch dash with wet hands. You may get an electric shock. So it is related to electricals. Let's see the first option. In option A, the second one is candle. So this is incorrect because by touching the candle, we may not get the electric shock. The second uh, option B, the second one is plugs. This is correct because with plugs we may get electric shocks. Option C is uh, having switches. With switches also we may get electric shock. Option D is having bicycle. So with bicycle we do not get electric shock. So either it will be option B or option C. We will only be able to uh, know the correct answer by understanding the third statement. The third one is never play with a dash you may get burned. Now, now let's see in option B which is third one. Teddy bear. Will we ever get hurt or burned by a teddy bear? No. Let's see option C. It is matchbox and that is correct because we should not play with a matchbox or we may get burned. So the right option over here is option C. And let's complete all the three sentences with that. Do not touch a knife, you may get a cut. Right? Do not touch switches with wet hands, you may get an electric shock. That's right. Never play with a matchbox, you may get a burn. Absolutely correct. And with this, we have successfully solved National Science Olympiad question paper for class 1. I hope you enjoyed solving this question paper with us. Watch other videos on uh, our channel as well that are meant for Olympiad. We have several 
Olympiad videos on the channel and also on the other educational topics. Please share this channel link to your friends and families. Subscribe it if you have not yet done. We will be posting many more Olympiad videos. Be prepared and crack your exam. Happy learning!